Good morning, my dear pupils! Good morning to sir! How is your weekend? Our weekend, sir, is super good and fun! Oh, I'm glad to know that! How about your family time? Did you have time with each other? Yes, sir! If so, I'm glad to know that too! Now, before we start our class, I urge you to be stand up, bow your head, close your eyes, and let's pray. Dear God, you are holy and omnipotent. Thank you so much for the grace you have given to each of us. Thank you so much for not abounding us in our journey in this world. Father, we're here in our classroom to learn lessons that will help us. We beg you not to leave us but to help us to study well. Help us to be obedient and honest and help us to love another. Also, bless our teacher. All this we respectfully ask in the name of Jesus, who is our Savior. Amen. Do we have an assignment yesterday, right? Yes, sir. So let's check our assignment yesterday. Okay. Yesterday, we discussed about simple pattern. To make sure that you have understand about the lesson yesterday, we will have a review. I have cut off number here in the glass. That number will represent your number in my official list. Once your number is drawn, you will require to answer the prepared question related to that lesson yesterday. Are you ready, my dear pupils? Yes, sir. So, let's start the drawing. The first number I will draw is number 5. Number 5, Balakwa. Balakwa, this is your question. Star diamond triangle blank diamond triangle. What is the missing shape? Star, sir. The correct answer is... Okay. The next number I will draw is number 10. Number 10, Domingo. Domingo, this is your question. F-A-T-H, F-A, blank H. What is the missing letter? D, sir. The correct answer is very good, Balako. Ay, Domingo. Sorry, my dear pupils. Okay, next number. The number I will draw is number 15. Number 15, Marcella. Marcella, this is your question. Banana, guava, mango, grapes, banana, guava, mango, black. What is the missing fruits? Grapes, sir. The correct answer is grapes. Away, sa Marcella. Okay, the fourth number I will draw is 20. Number 20, Valdez. Okay, my, Miss Valdez, this is your question. Mother, father, brother, sister. Mother, father, blank, sister. What is the missing people? Brother, sir. The correct answer is brother, Torjus. Okay, the fifth. Number I will draw, and this is the last number I will draw for this time. Number 22, Villanueva Heli. Okay, Villanueva Heli, 
this is your question. TV desk chair blank TV desk chair clock. What is the missing object? Your answer? Clock, sir. The correct answer is... Clock. Very good. This time, I want to introduce my best friend. He is Kyle. We've been friends for so long. Every hour is important to us. We go for walks, go home, and we study together. I consider him a brother. So, we preach each together every minute. All of my life, I did not want to lose him beside me. In this class, which of you have a friend? Me, sir! Do you have time with him or her? Yes, yes sir! If so, did you look and find out every hour and minute? Yes, yes sir! I have set of digital clock here. Do you know what is important to see on the clock? Yes, yes sir. sir! If so, what is it? Time, Time sir. sir! Very good! What makes up the clock to see the present time? Number, number sir. sir! Excellent! What numbers can we see on the clock? Can you give some numbers that we can see on the clock? Yes, yes sir. sir! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Nice answer! This time, I'll show you the different digital clock and we'll have an game and the game name, What Time Is Me? Are you ready? to see the digital clock and to start the game. The first clock we will see is what do you think the number of the clock? Anyone? 8 sir! Correct answer is Excellent! Your answer is correct. How about this second digital clock? Can you enumerate what is the number you can see? You, Bautista. 10.33, sir. The correct answer is... 10.33. Away, sound. How about this third digital clock? Can you enumerate the number you can see in this clock? What number you can see in this clock? Well, yes, ma. 12, 8, sir. The correct answer is? 12, 8. A ways up again. Now, let's go to the fourth digital clock. What number you can see in this digital clock? But one. Can you enumerate what number can you see in this clock? 10, 10, sir. The correct answer is... 10, 10. Ah, nice answer. Now, let's go to the last digital clock. What number can you see in this digital clock? A barque. 10, sir. The correct answer is 10. Correct. A birthday. Wow. Amazing. All your answers are correct. Give some hand of applause. For today's lesson, our topic is telling and writing the time in hours and minutes using analog clock and digital clock. Once again, my name is Sir Rajan D. Bagaso, your teacher in mathematics grade 2. Now let's proceed to the learning outcomes. The learning outcomes are 
First, enumerate the different time. Second, identify time using digital clock. Third, label the correct time using analog clock. Fourth, promote time by matching the correct time. And fifth, show the importance of time in our life. Now, the topic we will discuss for this day is all about time. What is time? The definition of time is time is the measured or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues. We can see time in two different types of clock, the analog clock and digital clock. According to our definition, Time is measurable period, meaning everything we do in every day is automatically measurable by time, which our action, process, and condition exists. Also, it is stated here in our definition that there are two different types of clock that we can see over time. What is it again? Anyone? Analog and digital clock, sir. Very good. But do you know what those two are? Yes, no, sir. sir. For the knowledge of everybody, analog is a clock that represents time by the position of an dial. Example of the analog clock is here. This is the example of analog clock. Do you have this clock? Yes, yes sir. sir. Where do you see this clock often? In our house, sir. In the canteen, sir. Here in the classroom, sir. Great! Your answers are correct. Now let's go to other definition of analog. Analog has two hands. The big hand and the small hand. The big hand represent two minute and the small hand represent two hour. Also, analog clock has dial. Every analog has second. Next. Now let's go to the minute, hour, and dial. The first the first one are minute. Minute is tell us how much time has passed. Each one of dial are counted by fives. Next, let's go to hour. Hour is tell us what is hour. Next, dial. Dial is the face of clock showing hours and minutes of the day. It refers to the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on until the number of 12. For example, the clock here is represent at the time of 12.55. How I can tell it? Because the small hand pointing between the one dial and the hand of big hand is pointing at the 11, which equivalent to 55. Remember, my dear pupils, the dial of minute are counted by fives, or in short, there are five minutes each of big numbers. Now, these pictures show us what is the correct dial or big numbers to the equivalent of the different numbers. Here, one dial or big numbers are equivalent to 5 minutes, second dial or big numbers are 10, third is 15, and so on. Another remember, every minute half a second, and there are 60 seconds in one minute. 
One more thing, if we write the time in digit, it simplifies, write the number of the hour and the colon, which is, this is the, the figure of colon and the minutes. In short, like this, hour, the colon, and the minute. Now let's go to AM and PM. What is AM and PM? AM is the start of the day or the day in the morning. While PM after the 12 hours of morning. Another remember, which is, I tell it a while ago that the dial of minute are counted by fives or in short, there are five minutes, each of big numbers. Now let's go to this figure. This is example of 10 hours and 10 minutes. Now, I call, I call some name and you answer what is the time shown in this figure. So the time will shown here is... What do you think is time of it? Can you enumerate it? Abort it. 1 hour and 45 minutes. Sir. 1 hour and 45 minutes. Correct. Next. This is another question or this is another example to be fast. To no other student can answer it. So 12 hours and 30 minutes. Next. Now let's proceed to digital clock. Digital clock is a clock that display the time in numerical digit rather than by hands on dial. Meaning it is already set up. The time here is in a numerical digit and there's no hand presented. It makes up of power, batteries, and a LCD screen. In short, it is belongs to the new technology in our present time. Now, do you remember this digital clock? Yes, yes sir. sir. If so, this is the example of digital clock. Another definition of digital clock is here. This is the easy way to determine time immediately nowadays. You must know where is the hour and the minute. The hour of digital clock is in the left side of the screen before the column, and the minutes of digital clock is in the right side screen of after the column. Column is always in the middle of hour and minutes. Again, in this left side, this is the Hour, the middle, this is the colon, and the right side of this screen is the minutes. Okay. Can you answer this prepared digital clock again? Brilliantes. Five hours and 30 minutes, sir. The correct answer is... 5 hours and 30 minutes. Congratulations. Your answer is correct. Next, can you answer this digital clock prepared? Rubio. 12 hours and 49 minutes, sir. The correct answer is 12 hours and 49 minutes. A good job, Rubio. Now, let's go to the different questions. So I have preferred 10 questions here and get one sheet of paper, then write your answer in that paper. So are you ready, my dear pupils? So the question number one, it is a measurable period where an action, process, and conditions exist. Number two question, what are the two types of clock? that we can see the time. The third question, 
what type of clock display the time using the position of hand in digital clock? The fourth question, what type of clock display numerical digit and there's no hand percentage? Fifth question, how we can know if time refers to minutes? The sixth question, where we can know if the time refers hour? Seventh question, it is the face of a clock showing hours and minutes of the day. In this presentation, I will give you three minutes to show and answer the seventh question. After which, let's go to the next question, M, to see the other question. The, star, the timer start now. Now let's go to question number eight. How many seconds have in one minute? Number nine, where we can see the hour and minute in the digital clock. And number 10, how do we write time in digit number? In this presentation, I will give you one minute to answer the three questions. The timer starts now. Time's up. Everybody exchange paper to your seatmate and let's check the and let's check the question. Let's reveal the answers. Number one, time. Number two, analog and digital clock. Number three, analog clock. Number four, digital clock. Number five, in the big hand. Number six, in the small hand. Number seven. Dial. Number eight, a burke. 60 seconds. Correct. Number nine, in the left and right side of screen. And number 10, Villanueva. R colon minute. Correct. Hour and minutes. In this time, I have an activity for you all. And this is the activity one. Look up. Look at the analog clock, label the following analog clock with the required time needed. So, copy the pictures and give or label the correct needed time in this picture. So, I will give you one minute to answer this question. Okay, next. Number four, five, six, and seven. Another one minute. Time's up. Another presentation. And another one minute. So you may answer this presentation. And this activity... I am one who check this following activity. So pass it to me after our class. Now let's proceed to the activity number two. So this is our activity number two. Match the following analog clock in column B. I'm sorry, my dear pupils. The correct direction is match the following analog clock in column A to the correct time in column B. So, this is the column A and this is the column B. So, can you write the correct letter in your paper, my dear student? Then, I will give you five minutes to answer this activity number two. So, you may start now this activity number two. This time, you need to check your answer. But, exchange your paper in your seatmate. So, let's check 
the following questions or activity. The first picture will be on letter D. How, how about the second clock? It will be at the letter B. The third clock, it will be at the letter A. And fourth clock, letter E. And fifth clock will be on letter C. Now, my dear pupils, you have an assignment. So your assignment will be this. Answer the following statement with wholeheartedly and correctly. The following statement is connected to your daily living. So answer the following question. I wake up in the time of. I'm eating breakfast at the time of. We eat lunch at the time of. I do my homework on the time of. And we were sleeping at the time of. So if you done to copying your assignment, that's all for today, my dear grade 2. Have a nice day and goodbye.